Hey everyone, and I'm coming back to my channel today to film a haul video. I actually just mentioned this in one of my past videos that I had stuff that I wanted to put in that video that hadn't arrived yet, so I'm going to be showing you that today. I did wear one of the pieces of clothing already because um, I went to um, a place that I applied and I wanted to wear something that was like a nice top that wasn't too dressy but not too casual. But the first thing I want to show you is a pair of Oakley sunglasses that I ordered. I'll have a close-up later and I'll have like the box right here. But um, these are the Holbrook I believe and the Violet something. They're not polarized and I have the Chrome O and it has etched on it which is like writing but you'll see in that little clip. K which is a nickname I have but I think they're very cool looking. And they um give like, when you're like looking into the sun, they'll give a different tint. Like it's more of a kind of a yellow tint. But I think they're very cool looking. So now I'm just going to pick up my bag so I don't have to keep reaching down. And the top that I was saying that I already wore, and I actually had to pull it out of my laundry basket because I forgot I was going to be filming this today. But it is this tiered taupey purple free people top i did buy this off poshmark this i have actually been like watching i had liked the item and watching it but the seller did not want to give me like the half price like you can make offers so i ended up having to buy it for the price she wanted to sell it for it has this nice peephole back one thing i will say about this is that since it's kind of almost like a halter, it's kind of difficult to pick a bra to wear with it. So I ended up wearing a sports bra. That way it acted kind of like a tank top without having to wear too many shirts. Another piece of clothing I purchased was from eBay. And it is this tank top tunic. It's very long. I bought this in a medium, so it would be longer. And it has this neon yellow stitching, white stitching, and a little bit of a mesh cutout, if you can tell. This piece right here can move to the front or back, depending on how you want to wear it. And it has a slit back right here to open up around your bum. And from the Free People store, this would have been $128, but I did not pay that much money for it. I bought this off eBay. And I know they still have a couple of these left, so I will link the exact item down below. This is something I bought from the Free People's store. I'm not sure if it has a tag on it right now. If not, I'll just link you to the direct item. And this is a one-size-fits-all. And it's this red kimono with some black fringe. I thought this would be really cute to wear with a tank top on days where it starts to chillier, but it's not quite fall yet. Going along with that kimono idea, I bought this fringe vest from Free People, but from Poshmark, which is actually a great app to shop off of if you want to find discounted clothing. This I know they still have on the Free People website, but I was able to get it for much cheaper on Poshmark. I believe I got it for $65. And it goes for 168 and it just has these white fringe on the bottom and it goes in um, it looks flattering on like the stitching goes straight down the back but it kind of goes vertical for the sides and that once again I figured would be a good transitioning piece this is from Anthropology, which kind of messes up the whole like free people clothing section of this video, but it's a really gorgeous top. And this is the um, Mint Everlet top, I believe. I'll have the name listed down below. I found it in cream as well if you're interested, so I'll link the cream one. And it's just a sheer lacy top. This is in a size small, so I'm going to wear it with a white tank top underneath. So I figured this is a nice transitioning piece because it's a long sleeve, but you can still wear it when it's warm out. That I bought off of eBay. This is a Free People dress that I bought off of Poshmark. It, it was $128 normally, and I paid $60. I bought it in a medium, and 
it is the daydream dress in um red they don't make this print anymore but this is actually like one of my favorite colors because the plain red they have now is a little bit too dark and i liked how this had the white accent i just have to wear it belted with a with a belt just so it cinches in at the waist because since it is a medium and this dress already does run large it's just a little boxy this is a top i bought off of Revolve, but i know they have it on the free people website in the orange color and this is a um, white tank that has a detail back kind of slits open and it has a um shelf bra built in so you don't have to wear a bra i thought this would be great to wear a cream color because white you're not allowed to wear it after Labor Day but I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna wear some white. This is a little disheveled right now but it's a free people tank and it has this gorgeous croquette lacy detail bust. Kind of an open back and a baby doll like flare and this I bought off of the free people website so I'll link this down below as well. They do have this in a lot of other colors and I bought an extra small. Probably would have sized up on this but this does fit fine. The last thing I bought I figured would be great especially if they do do informal recruitment at my school. I should know by the time this video goes live if they are. And this is just a white gauzy um, dress. It hits a little bit above my knees and it does have open shoulders. Almost like a bedazzle sequined top, but it does look very flattering on. And I bought this off of eBay. It's from Urban and it's from the brand Ecote. But I thought this was a gorgeous dress and it definitely would be good for um, initiation if I do decide to join a sorority and get a bid. But that is it for my haul today. If you guys liked anything, um, in the video then thumbs up this video if not um, leave me a comment and tell me what your style is and I will be sure to get back to you. Bye!